Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today we're going to look at the models of deduction and speculation. For this example, we are not going to be using the structure in Spanish. In previous levels, you have studied the modal verbs. Now we will address modals of deduction and speculation. We use modals of deduction and speculation when we want to make a guess about something. We choose the verb depending on how sure we are. We can use them to talk in present and in past. We will focus mostly on the present, but be mindful of both. Present. The modals must, might, could, may. And then an infinitive verb to deduce or speculate about an action that happens in the present. The structure goes as subject plus the modal verb, which is in present, plus the infinitive plus the complement. As an example, she might arrive soon. She may be in the wrong place. As a note, please understand that in this scenario, the opposite of must is can't. That we use will or won't when we are very sure. We use should, shouldn't to make an assumption that is possibly true. We use can when something is generally possible. We do not use can to talk about specific possibilities. Understand as well that we can employ these models of deduction in affirmative sentences, negative and interrogative ones as well. Past. Put together models of deduction and speculation. Must, might, could, may, can't and have and then a past participle verb to deduce and speculate about an action that occurred in the past. The structure goes as subject plus modal plus have plus past participle plus complement. For example, you may have not done the dishes this morning. Melissa could have lost track of time. Understanding again, similarly to the previous example, that in this context we can speak using modals of deduction and speculation for affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences, and according to the context, we organize the structure. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use the modals of deduction and speculation. Good luck! <laughs>